What's up guys, DK, we are back to Kingdom Hearts 2, Final Mix PS3. It's finally time to get to the good stuff. But first, allow me to import that cutscene that I skipped last time. Maybe waiting isn't good enough. My thoughts exactly. If you have a dream, don't wait. Act. One of life's little rules. Got it memorized? Who are you? Axel. I happen to be an acquaintance of Sora's. Why don't we go see him? Sora? Whoa, whoa. We've got something in common, Kyrie. You and I both miss someone we care about. Hey, I feel like we're friends already. You're not acting very friendly. As I said before, this is a truth that we have to accept. I really want to know what the hell Square was thinking with the red hair and the blue eyes and the short miniskirt and the panty shot on the PS2 version. Kyra's only 15 years old, and yet she's one of the most hottest video game girls ever. I mean, that's all there is to it, guys. This girl is really, really gorgeous. Hey, what is this place? You okay? <gasps> uh. What? You and that dog came flying out of a hole in the wall. He nearly gave us heart attacks. Sounds like we've got trouble. We'll take it from here. I don't know how to handle these, these fuckers just attack them and reverse them. They'd be dead before you know it. But I keep forgetting that I'm playing um, critical mode and they, they are much more agile in, in this mode. Alright, now this is where it gets ugly. Berserker, watch out for those guys. They hit like trucks. In fact, where my hit points are now, he can kill me in one shot, so I better heal. Back off. Yeah. 
Now these guys, for the most part, are very easy to kill. After you grab this. Once you do that right there, they're not a problem. Berserkers. Try to scoop up as many of them as you possibly can before the rest of command. Later on in the game, that rest of command pretty much kills everything in one combo. In fact, this is probably my favorite rest of command in the game. That berserk. I love that. Whoa. All right, we got that mess. Impressive. By the way, have you seen a man named Axel? I expect he's here somewhere. Like I care. You see, Axel's no longer acting in our best interest. Is he with the organization too? Yes. You have a front? Not a very organized organization. Don't let your guard down. Axel will stop at nothing to turn you into a heartless. Gee, thanks for looking out for us, mister. But I'm sure we can take care of ourselves just fine. Glad to hear it. Axel aside, it would break our hearts to hear something happen to you. Hearts? You don't have any hearts. True, we don't have hearts. But... We remember what it was like. That's what makes us special. What do you mean? We know very well how to injure a heart. Sora, you just keep on fighting those heartless. Let's jump in after him. How come? I'm not sure, but maybe he'll lead us to the organization's world. Don't be reckless. Do you want to end up like Riku? What? Hey! Wait! What did he mean, end up like Riku? Hey! How about you get out of my town now? You've caused enough trouble. Riku. Have it your way. Come on, guys. Hold it. Make up your mind. This goes to the strongest guy in Twilight Town. Thanks, but we don't really need it. Whoa! Oh, Sora! Um, Pence, right? Do you know a girl named Kyrie? K Kyrie? I sure do. Uh, then you better come to the station. Cypher is trophy. I don't want that thing. Okay, so Pence wants us to go to the station to find out what's going on with Kyrie, but doing that will trigger the um, the event that takes him back to the world map. I don't want to do that yet. Now, this thing right here, guys, uh, unfortunately, there's just no way I can beat this guy right now. I mean, I probably can, but... I'm going to have to learn exactly how he works because you're supposed to like guard his command and reduce his attack points and stuff like that. But that's not the way I fight him. I normally fight him just by spamming limit for him. So I'll probably do some practicing on this. But I, I just can't beat him right now. If you're a pro, you probably can, but I can't. Anyway, before we head to the station, let's pick up some toys. I think now I can reach places I couldn't reach before. Let me go ahead and hop on this train here. Like that right there, but I'll get that in a minute. First, I'm going to get this crown piece up here. Let me make the jump and... Ah, ah fuck. Let's try that again. There we go. I knew I wasn't going crazy. There's another daylight puzzle piece. And now, to get these chests that I couldn't get before because I wasn't jumping high enough and stuff like that. Why didn't I get these before? 
I guess the I guess the game automatically took me out of this. Anyway, there's another chest over here. Gimme. Another mythic shard. You're gonna get a lot of those too. Now I thought there's another crown piece loafing around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. There it is. Oh, what the hell's wrong with me? I'm not done with that yet. Let's go back over here. And all this stuff will be a lot easier if you wait till later on. But some of these pieces I want to get now. Not that one. It, it, it'll be a long time before I complete that. I think that's the last one, actually. I can't complete that until I get, like, um, Final Form Glide and stuff like that. And that puzzle is very, very, very difficult. But fortunately, I already did in Japan, and I recorded it, so I'll use that as a guide, I guess. Give me. A tent? I don't need that. I could buy those for, like, what, 100 gil or something like that? Here's another toy over here. Jump. Jump. And give me. AP boost again! Of course. Now, there's probably some more stuff I can pick up right now, but I mainly want those mythos shards so I can make a few items real soon. Let's go ahead and get a move on now. I'm testing out my new catcher device here, so I don't want this episode to be too long. That's going to determine whether or not I use this or the old one. Well, actually, I don't pay $200 for it, so I'm damn sure going to use it now. <laughs> hey! Hey, so how do you guys know Kyrie? was really here? Yeah. And she said she was looking for you. Tell me where she is! Well... What a romantic story. If you stick around, Sora's bound to show up. Yeah, he said he's coming back. Okay. What took you so long, Kyrie? Somehow, I just knew you'd be here. I tell you, Kyrie, you've got a lot of guts jumping right into the darkness like that. You think it might have been Axel? Sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. Come on, cheer up. Like I can even say that. I gotta Get help Kyrie. That was close. Are you okay? Huh? What?
What what just happened? A new road is open, and Kairi and Riku are waiting somewhere along it. You'd better hurry then. You coming back? Promise. And we get everybody's favorite Keyblade, the Oath Keeper. And this is indeed my favorite Keyblade, of course. And new to Final Mix, the ever so powerful Limit Form. This thing is ridiculously, ridiculously overpowered. Unfortunately, it's not going to save you all the time. I passed on the message as you so desired. I told the young Sora to keep defeating the Heartless. Good. Not only have you the power to inflict pain, you also have the power to plant seeds of doubt in one's receptive heart. Sora will soon begin to doubt himself. It will cause him to hesitate and that hesitation will turn to anger. That anger will fuel him to get rid of his apprehension and move forward. He will pave the way for the future we desire. There's something I've meant to ask. About Axel. The poor fool. How long will he keep chasing the illusion of friendship when he himself lacks emotion, trying so hard to retrieve what he has lost when it may never have existed in the first place? He deserves nothing more than our pity. Kyrie again, too. Don't be sad. Waddle's right, you know. Why, you're the key that connects everything. So it's all my fault. Gorge, I didn't mean that. Just do what comes natural to you, and we're sure to find them. You sell it. Thanks, guys. Chipper, uh, I wonder what's going on. Sora, we better hurry and check it out right away. Now this is where hell breaks loose, and this is probably the absolute best part of the entire game. Unfortunately, that's gonna have to wait until the next episode. For now, there's a certain boss I want to take down. Before I do that, however, let me do a little leveling up. Not really leveling up, I just want to get my limit form to level um, to level 2 so I can at least get auto limit in case I need to go into it. Actually, I know I'm going to do it at least one time. Anyway guys, to level up your limit form, all you got to do is simply use the, um, the limit commands. Unfortunately, you can only use these in the midst of battle. Now I'm going to get hit before I do it again so I can restore my magic points. And there we go. It's actually very, very, very easy to level this thing up. But I don't want to use it too many times right now. But I don't want to use it too many times right now because, um, no, I don't want any anti points. Okay, let me see if I got everything I need. Set the size, turn a few materials, recipes. The first thing I we, the first thing I want to do is get my Moogle to level. What was it, four or five, in order to use two items at once? Um, let's see, this is gonna cost my Mithra stones. 
Uh, but I want to make the Busted Band. I don't think I want to make that yet. Let me see. Mr. Pete's, um, with a shot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make. I'm gonna go ahead and make this. A ah, damn it! I did it again. Uh, why does that happen? Sometimes when I press the X button, it'll it'll act like auto fire for two presses. Why that happens, I don't know. It just it it, it, it just does. I'm gonna have to start saving my game before I do this because I I, I can't have that happening. I wanted to use one of these so I get more spears points. Anyway, let me go out and save my game before I keep doing this. Anyway, I'm trying to get my Moogle to level 4 before I use the really good items like Mythal Gems and Mythal Stones. See, I, I, I want to level them up before I use those. Might as well make something that I haven't made yet, but I don't want to use my gems. Uh, no, don't want to use those recipes. Can't make that. Well, I can't make another one of these for a while anyway. And I've got 12 bright stones, so might as well go ahead and use one to get some good spins points here. Soldier Earring, AP and Strength. Moves at level 4, and now I can use two items. Now, I'm going to make this. But I'm gonna use a bright stone and a serenity stone too, so I can make a buster band and get some good spin points in the process. I lost a lot of mythic stones on that, but it's all good. Okay, that's all for now. I just wanted to make those two items. I wanted to make. Uh, there it is again. That damn auto fire. To, uh, what the fuck, man? Why? Why is that happening? Maybe I need a new controller or something. I wanted to get this for some more strength, and I wanted this for defense. Okay, guys, now, I don't normally do this fight until after I've defeated Zardin so I can get the level 2 Reflect spell. Uh, but you see, I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. But more importantly, um, as I've said many times, this one fight alone is the very reason why I poured a Final Mix on PS2 and why I play it today. So I want to make absolutely sure that out of the new bosses that I do this one first. Because I would not, I probably wouldn't have played Final Mix were it not for this one fight. Of course, it's much more epic and much more badass in the original version because her laugh is much more creepier in that version. But still. And let me go out and come again in case I die. I won't have to set up again. But yeah, guys, this... This fight is the reason why I play Final Mix. This is my favorite fight in the game. And I want to make sure that I do this first. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I can't do too much explaining while I'm fighting. Because the thing is, I need to stay completely focused. Especially at this level. For the most part, she's completely random. So you're just going to have to pay attention to her movements and learn when to block and when to reflect and all that kind of stuff like that. Alright, here we go.
Now, fighting Lark Singh at this point in the game is actually quite suicidal. But the thing is, I spent so many times fighting this bitch, I know all of her movements for the most part. But like I said, usually she's just completely random. You just have to pay attention to what she's doing, when she teleports and stuff like that, and eventually you'll figure her out. Now, I'm going to reset and fight her again because there's a few moves that she has that she didn't, that she didn't use, and I need to make sure I show them. I don't know everything about these guys. Especially the whole um the whole hidden counter thing, cause after you've attacked them so many times, you hit something that's called what is it a revenge hit or something like that, where they all make a counter attack. I don't know exactly how that works. If you want to know absolutely everything about these guys, look up a dude called Biz. What's his name? Biz Kit Forty Seven or something like that. He's probably the the best player in Kingdom Hearts. He knows everything about these guys. He could beat everything in this game at level one without taking a hit and stuff like that. So yeah.
Yeah, guys, once you learn how to block her attacks, you'll see that she's really not that difficult. The data version, on the other hand, is a whole different story. We'll deal with that later. Lost Illusions, save it because these things are limited until you're strong enough to take down the data versions of these guys. And trust me, it ain't easy, especially for first timers. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Next time, we are going to go to Hollow Bastion, where all hell breaks loose. See you later. Take it easy. Mama.